Okay, then. Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. I'll show you. Whew, way are you ahead of me?
I got a ways to go. Getting close.
Gotta go, boy. Yep. Trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got no authority here.
Mister. Welcome back. So, buying or selling? All right, let's have a look. I hope you make something pretty with that. How is everything? Boy, the things I can make with this. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. Good use to that. Sure, got a few of those, huh? All made to measure. garments is a little different because every pelt is a little different you'll find them nowhere else I heard this too Best trapper I ever knew, my fourth wife, native. We'd find a trail while the bloodhound was still sniffing its own ass. Hell of a woman, best her soul. Better to make, make it now. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't sell to stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. Sold. Dakota, tall trees, big valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skins. I can travel faster with this stall and tow than you or anyone can with nothing but a horse and a saddle. It's not about speed, it's about knowing the land. A lot of folk hunt, but not so many know their way around a needle and thread. It's good business, I'm telling you. Sure, you'll see a difference right away. Okay, I can hang around if you're still thinking about it. What you done to my wife? You're a dead man. Hey, who the devil are you? Far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. This cat. I said get out of here. 
This is an outrage. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? You kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Settle down. Miss Grimshaw? Mr. Arthur, come up here. Good morning.
Arthur. You all right? Yeah. That was quite a mess to clean up. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Well, I'll take what I can get.
Charles. Hello, Hi, Terry. Hi, Arthur. Okay, Pearson? Hi there. Okay there, Javier. <laughs> How are you? I've been better. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, fella. Yeah. How about we see how fast it is? 
First one to catfish Jackson. Sure, why not? Ready? Let's go. I won, honestly. Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. God. <sighs> Take care of yourself, here. Yeah?
easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> now. Welcome one! Welcome up! <laughs> You're going to be in a better place! Now stay calm! Breathe deep and repent! Or you will be moved to a better realm! Ladies and gentlemen! Behold! The calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine.
Town's a tinderbox, and you might be the spark, you understand? I've seen folk like you before, always the first to run screaming. Just minding my own business. I kill running from the side of free men. Got some sense after all. Partner, how do you do? Hey, friend. Bien le bonjour. Hey there. Partner, ma'am. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. How do you do, senor? Hey there. Hello there. Hey, folks. Bonjour, monsieur. Hello, sirs. Hey, partner. Got any idea what time it is? Me temo que no lo sé. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Okay. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Ain't no place for like you no more. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir.
There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful e George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it, coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Yeah, I heard that. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I'll, uh, raise. All that. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit. I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are.
Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? No one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look! There's your friend! My friend is not a no-good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation! There he is! Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you! There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut! There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs>
Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Stay here, boy. Good what God. the hell is going on with you? Morning, to you. you remind me of a feller I used to know. Good day to you. Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. So long. We'll be here. You take your time. All right! How are you? about the people around here. They're friendly. Hmm. Hey, mister. Hey, partner. Hush your mouth. Aha! 
Ready to do some more shopping? Tell me what you like and I'll get it for you. Maybe you think about it and come back to it. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I can see you look after your firearm. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can give you some better options for the sights. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there, if you like, good price. Let me know if you need help. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I can see you look after your firearm. Very good chop suey on the street. Say I sent you. Hey, mister. Oh. Hello, sir. Doing? Hello, sir. Hi there, mister. Hello, ma'am. 
Could you move? I bring you Man, knowledge from the Hello. east. The knowledge of New York. The brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the south to help those wise enough to help themselves. Let me help you help yourselves. Hey, kitty. Hi there, folks. Bonjour. Monsieur. I will only help the wise, for the foolish are beyond saving. Hey there, partner. Hello there. Hey, ma'am. Hey, mister. Hello, sir.
Easy now. Come on now, boy. Time to go, boy.
Eternity waits for us all! At which eternity? Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Holy hell. They ain't gonna hey, shake that off. Be house. warned, sir. Be warned. Surrounded by fields of burning what? fire and flesh, the devil will make his sacrifice. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. with you then my friend you there yeah what do you want do i look like a coward to you i mean obviously i do because i look like that milk sop there but tis no matter can you help maybe see even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Please. <laughs> you got a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away. Don't think too much. Oh, he got it. Oh, there it goes. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Already? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle is excellent. Fine shooting. Oh. 
<laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why? saying. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Can you arrange a bath? I need a wash. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Would you like some extra help there? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. All right, suit yourself. <laughs> You can stay another night if you want. <laughs> You need a wash now for a long journey? I got someone to help Sweetheart. you. Sweetheart. Morning. You all on your lonesome? Hey, easy. Morning, ma'am. Maybe hunting ain't your thing. You ain't get careful much. now. Be careful. I'm sorry there. 
Thank you. Hi there. Okay, fella. Howdy. Well, hello there. Beautiful day, ain't it? Hi there, mister. On your face. Good morning to you. Having fun, mister? Ooh. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis, on the riverboat? Oh, okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to San Denis and hand you some sand. Good morning, sir. Okay, there. Let's go, boy. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take a look at it. I hope you make something pretty with that.
I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Well, this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you quit, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. I did shoot a lot of people. I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I... If we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Right. Not so goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass name? Uh, you know, I don't know. You've been being me. I'm nobody, buddy. And I'm somebody! And I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. By the way, we works. Huh. Damn you, Zero Eleven! You're a snake! Damn you! Damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. You can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove... Nothing to you, nobody! No, of course you don't, but maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella.
improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I'll need some more materials before I can make some. Yep. Yeah. 